Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, look at that. What up guys? We are in Madrid finally. We just got out. It's like 9.30ish in the morning and uh, we're headed to the Royal Palace. It'll be awesome. Obviously not the entrance, so now we gotta find the entrance. Just waiting for uh, Dad to sit up real quick before I head on to our tour. They literally gave us ginormous notepads for everything. Yeah, I'm kinda hungry too. Okay, this is your uncle Tin. So the uncle just come out of the palace, so cool. Not allowed to take the picture, so not cool. But they had a four Stradivarius violin. Super cool. So pretty, so clean, so nice. Uncle want to play but cannot play. So Finally walked over. It's a little bit hot, but uh, finally to the Mercado de San Miguel. Got it right. Got it right. Got it right. Uh, I guess it's time for a little bit of shopping. We were missing in Barcelona because that Mercado was closed. Look at that, that stuff. Baklava, there's yogurt shots, there's macaron. And of course my favorite, olives. Oh my god, I want to eat all of these things. literally like a food trucks but permanent in like an enclosed market space it's so good so we got these picante olives mm. Mm. it's a little hot mm. 
more salty than hot. Those are good. And then we have these olives with pesto. Mmm. Mm. That's, that's really good. That was so good. And then we have more olives with salmon and cream cheese. Oh, my. I've always loved olives. I've always loved olives. So good. And there's water dripping. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mom. Pretty good, huh? Good. It's better than an olive place back growing up in Redlands. <laughs> I kind of miss those guys, though. This is one of their little sticks with, looks like green olives, anchovies or herring, uh, chili peppers. Mm. Mm. Whoa. It's a little fishy. A little bit fishy. Not bad. I'm still not a I'm still not an anchovy person yet. I've been trying. It's still quite not one yet. I gotta eat one of those pesto ones to take care of the, the fishy smell. Mm. 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 So much better. Let's see if the picante olives really have the pepper. I'm guessing it's either arboles or like a cayenne. I think it's cayenne because the arboles is a little bit harder, it hits a little bit faster. Yeah, it's good though. There must be like 35 or 40 st shops in here. This is so cool. and uh, coconut. Mm, it's really nice, it's like super thick. So, some people say you go to Europe to see the sights. For me, I can eat the food. So good. Mm. I'm guessing this is curry. I'm not sure. Yep. And there's some more empanadas. Empanadas galore. Funny thing is you can totally spy them other people are eating, watch. Found the same spot that uh, Christina got her burrata from and decided to get some, this time with pesto and uh, with pesto and uh, tomato. And there's one with some raspberry jam and almonds. Oh, hey, okay. <laughs> try not to make it fall. I almost feel like you have to scoop it off. It's not made to go to eat the bread. Now, I'm gonna try the burrata and the jam. Mm, whoa. It's sweet and salty all at once. I almost want the jam a little bit sweeter, but that's my American tongue. So good. So good. So after stuffing ourselves at that market, we are running home. But we also found an olive oil store. So check this spot out. It has unfiltered olive oil. Way cheaper than back home, of course. It's like 20 euros for a half liter bottle. Uh, which is not bad if you have unfiltered, basically raw olive oil. So it's pretty dope. And of course, on the way home, you pass by Cathedral. Check it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyways, so we're going to run back home, drop off the olive oil because olive oil and heat, bad idea. So uh, if you get the premium bottle, it also comes in a little box so you can ship it. So we're going to grab that, we're going to run home, and we're going to head to the Prado. So we're finally here, walking through the uh, Prado Gardens. I'd recommend having good shoes because right now my feet are killing me. And there's lots of these like bumps and ridges on the road. So 
thanks to dad here, we completely cut the line and got in. Museo del Prado. We're in the Prado Museum, but we're so tired now. Everyone's like sleeping. So guys, we just finished the Prado. Apparently there's a big rush at like six to eight. The line was going all the way around like the side. But um, good news is that we were able to get in super fast because of dad over here. They let us in right away. We had some good stuff, saw some Goya, saw some other things. It was really, really nice. Problem is, is that they don't allow pictures. So I really couldn't film anything, but it's okay. So now we're trying to find some food. Last night in Madrid, Let's see what happens. Madrid. We are at Ana La Santa. Hopefully gonna try some of their famous uh, Andalusian like squid with uh, black mayonnaise. Tonight everything's chill. Finally get to sit down and let our feet relax a little bit. Christina, you think you would come back here or you go to Barcelona again? Both. Both? I, I, would, I wish I, we could spend a little bit more time here. Yeah. I wish maybe that last day in Barcelona without the... Um, yeah. The, they had that national day, everything was closed. Yeah. The Catalan, um, yeah. So I wish yeah, that we could have yeah. flown that day and been here yeah. for two days at yeah. least. I feel like, like we just days. got here and we're like, okay, bye. Yeah. yeah. I kind of feel like I like this city a lot because it's very alive um, and it doesn't sleep, which yeah. is kind of fun. Yeah. But, I mean, would you, yeah. How do you feel about it? Uh, I actually you go thought, back here? Would you, I actually would you, thought I would like. Barcelona a lot more and yeah. I was surprised to find out that I actually like Madrid a lot more. Too. Yeah. 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 I feel like like what we were talking earlier I, I feel like it's easier to find restaurants here. Remember how it was like Oh, I don't know if there's a restaurant in that corner, maybe there's a restaurant in the next corner. I don't know. Here is like yeah, a little bit. I don't know, but it's like there's literally like a whole loads and loads of everywhere so. This actually feels more like Italy to me. A really? new young Italy. Like Venice, there's in the piazzas, there's uh, all. I mean, it's all restaurants. Yeah, and when you walk, it's all restaurants, and they're all come eat, come eat. And um, this kind of feels like this, but not exactly. Gotcha. A little bit. Apparently, I have to eat squid to Despacito. It's taking all the fun out of it. So this is black squid ink mayonnaise. Cheers. That's really good. Mm. This is so weird because calamari in rings like this. How do they do that? I guess so, it's supposed to, I've, I've always had it in rings, but here it is in strips, so here it is. It's good. The breading's seasoned really nicely. The squeaky mini is basically just for looks, but it tastes really good. Okay. Dean, what did you order? Uh, tomato soup with basil ice cream and... Um, <laughs> Basil ice cream or something? No, uh, something like that. Yeah. Oh, that looks amazing. Alright, here we go. Tomato soup with basil ice cream. Alright. Mm. Wow. Yeah? That's amazing. It, it's like wait, refreshing. Wait, it's, it's really ice cream. It's refreshing yeah. and incredibly flavorful at the same time. <laughs> and it makes the temperature of the soup a little lukewarm, but it's. it's, it's very so the soup good. is warm? It's actually cold. Oh, it's actually cold. The oh, soup wow. is cold. <laughs> okay. Whoa. 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 Definitely different. It's really good, but definitely different. You get, you instantly get the hit of the basil. It, it, it works. It's just very kind of like a surprising if you're not ready for it. No, I don't know if I like it. It's good. It's definitely, definitely different though. Definitely different. Yeah. That was amazing. Dinner wasn't uh, as cheap as anywhere else, but it was so good. Really would totally recommend going there again. Right now we're walking through Plaza Mayor. We are trying to find churros and chocolate one last time. So, the real competition is Barcelona versus Madrid, right? Churros. From the 
Mercado, which we came here earlier, still open. Goes. Mm. Again, not very sweet. Mm -hmm. This is this a little is very thicker. Reminiscent of um, mm. almost like chakwe, like mm -hmm. the Taiwanese food, but not as thin. But I actually like the churros. In Barcelona? In Barcelona. Yeah. Because yeah. this is a little bit oily. Yeah. The dad test. Wow. That's it. He's fine. You can definitely eat it now. Ready? Uh-huh. It is nice for him, of course, of course. Now, do you like this better than the one before? You like it some more? Okay. That right. test says Madrid. Kids say Barcelona. Hey right, Dean, here we go. Delicious. Mm. Different, right? It is different. It's different. And the chocolate is better. Yeah, right? Okay. The churro is a little softer. You think so, it's softer? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. I don't know why I remember you, the Barcelona one a little chewy. Do you like the Barcelona being more crunchy? Do you think it was more crunchy? I kind of think it's a little bit more crunchy. I guess so. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. So what do you say? The chocolate takes the edge, but I'd say the Barcelona sure is going to be better. Boom! Barcelona. Yeah. 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 Barcelona wins? Yeah. 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 I'll take All right. Barcelona. All right. Barcelona wins. Sorry.